Antarctica is one of the most desolate places on Earth, and it's one of the most extraordinary as well. There are things about it that will shock you, make you wonder, and probably make you want to check it out for yourself. From enormous amounts of ice and fresh water, to volcanoes and buried lakes, Antarctica has it all. Let's take a look and see just what our southernmost continent has to offer. It's time to check out Amazing Antarctica. Amazing Antarctica. 12. It houses some of the driest places on the planet. For a continent covered in ice, it sure is amazing that it's also home to some severely dry regions. There are dry valleys in the Antarctic that basically have no moisture nor humidity, making it almost impossible for ice and snow to accumulate. So instead of being as snow covered as much as the rest of the continent, these areas are just dusty and parched. Crazy when almost all of the surrounding areas are buried under all that frozen water. 11. Holy Mother of Wind You may have already known this from watching movies or seeing it in documentaries, but just in case you didn't, we wanted to be the first to tell you. Antarctica can be windy, really, really windy. There's even a special type of wind there known as catabatic wind, which is high-density air that flows down a slope due to gravity. The thing about the Antarctic is, there are also a lot of open, flat areas, and when the catabatic winds hit them, it can be pretty dramatic. Some truly high wind speeds have been experienced on the Antarctic continent, the highest having a occurred in 1972 when the winds reached 199 miles per hour. Then there's the South Hole, where the highest wind speed in recorded history was just 58 miles per hour. 10. Some Thick Ice Did you know that under all that ice in Antarctica, one can find remnants of what are referred to as lost continents? This goes for East Antarctica at least. In West Antarctica, ice can be seen extending about 8,202 feet below sea level. You may also be surprised to find out that Antarctica is considered a desert. It doesn't rain or snow much way down there in the south, which could be surprising for many to find out. The thing is, when it does snow, it doesn't just melt away, it just accumulates. And when it rains, it also accumulates by freezing on top of the existing snow and ice. Over time, it builds up. On average, the Antarctica ice sheet is about 1.3 miles thick, with the thickest being 2.96 miles thick at the Terra de Lee. 9. Lots of water Now, there are two polar ice caps on our planet, up in the Arctic and down in the Antarctic. In fact, around 98% of the continent of Antarctica is covered in ice, which makes up the biggest single ice mass on the face of the Earth. Now digest this. The ice sheet contains about 6,400,000 cubic miles worth of ice, and covers roughly 5.4 million square miles. Want more numbers? Good! We know that fresh water is essential for us humans and all other forms of life, and Antarctica possesses about 61% of the fresh water on our planet. If the ice caps were to melt, we would see sea levels rise 190 feet. Let that sink in for a moment. 8. Gigantic Ice Shelf We know, we've already talked a lot about ice and water, but hey, it's Antarctica, what'd you expect? Let's talk a little bit about the Ross Ice Shelf. It's not only the largest ice shelf that one can find in Antarctica, but the largest anywhere on the planet. Back in 2013, the shelf covered about 74,657 square miles, and measured right around 500 miles across. The front of the sheet, which faces the open sea, is pretty much vertical and measures more than 370 miles and varies between 50 and 160 feet tall. The cool thing about this shelf is that it's like those pictures of icebergs they used to have in school, showing that most of the ice lies below the water. Around 90% of the Ross Ice Shelf is found beneath the surface of the water, and in the southern areas of it, the ice can reach 2,450 feet thick. It also calves giant icebergs, the largest of which broke off in 2000, was called Iceberg B-15, and measured about 4,200 square miles. 7. Buried Lakes There's obviously a lot of stuff under all that snow and ice found on Antarctica, so it might come as no surprise that there are more than 400 known subglacial lakes there as well. There's something called the Pole of the Cold on Antarctica, which is where the coldest temperatures on the continent have been felt and recorded, which is near where Lake Vostok is located. It's found directly beneath Vostok Station, a Russian research station on the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. The freshwater lake is underneath about 13,100 feet below the surface and is about the size of Lake Ontario. The lake may have been sealed off from the rest of the world for an estimated 15 to 25 million years, and scientists predict that unusual forms may be found within it. They also speculate that the conditions in the lake could resemble ice-covered lakes that may be seen in other places in the solar system. 6. Fires 
you may be surprised to find out that a pretty big threat to human activity on the continent is something you'd never expect in a frozen wasteland. Fires are a pretty big hazard way down there, and that's for a variety of reasons. First, Antarctica is pretty dry, as we told you before, because it doesn't rain much. That makes everything exclusively dry, even when pretty much everything is surrounded by ice and snow. Also, due to freezing conditions, water to fight fires is hard to come by. Plus, the brutal winds on the continent can quickly fan flames to the point where they're impossible to fight. There are no wildfires, but any accidental fires can quickly get out of control. And unlike many other places on the planet, firefighter services are very rare to come by. There is one full-time professional fire department called the Antarctic Fire Department with just two stations for the whole giant continent. 5. Volcanism all across Antarctica, one can find extinct volcanoes galore, but there are still a couple of active ones as well. There's one located on Deception Island, which is almost round in shape, and in the center of the island, there's a bay called Port Foster, which is the volcano's caldera. The volcano on Deception Island erupts under the water and ice, making it a subglacial volcano, which is pretty rare. The last major eruption at the island occurred in August of 1970, although nobody was around to see it at the time. There's also Mount Erebus, which is the second highest volcano in all of Antarctica. And as far as active volcanoes go, it's found farther south on the planet than any other. It stands a massive 12,448 feet high, and it has been active for the past 1.3 million years. It too is pretty unique, as it is classified as a polygenetic stratovolcano, as its top half is a stratocone and the bottom a shield. It has long-lasting eruptive activity that is low in intensity, making it great for long-term study. 4. Lots and lots of research Antarctica is an interesting place where many scientists had to perform all kinds of research. Unlike the many drifting stations set up on the Arctic, a lot of the stations in Antarctica are permanent and are either fixed straight to the rock or ice. There are roughly 45 permanent stations that operate year-round built by a total of 42 different countries who signed the Antarctic Treaty, and about another 30 which operate in the summer. Although there are many abandoned or closed down stations still residing on the continent. During the summer season, which is winter in the northern hemisphere, there are close to 4,000 people on the continent doing research. In the winter, around June in the northern hemisphere, the population on Antarctica drops to around 1,000. There's much to find out there among all that snow and ice, especially beneath it. So research is likely to continue for as long as humankind is still dwelling on the Earth. 3. Light and dark. Now, if you know anything about the Antarctic or even most of the Arctic, you'll know that there are certain times of the year where they experience darkness for 24 hours. But this 24 hours of darkness is offset by 24 hours of light about six months apart. The darkness occurs in the winter for the region, and the light occurs in the summer, and in the summertime, something pretty amazing can be observed. It's called a midnight sun, which is precisely what it sounds like. It's where the sun remains visible at midnight local time, but what seems even stranger is that the sun remains visible at later or earlier times, such as 1, 2, 3, and 4 a.m. The opposite would be just as strange, as it could be midday and the darkness of night would continuously envelop the area for months at a time. 2. Chock full of meteorites Antarctica is a great place to find meteorites as the continent is mostly untouched and has remained virtually unchanged over the course of millions of years. Most of the meteorites recovered there fall at high altitudes, then get covered up with snow, and then make their way downhill over centuries in sheet of flowing ice. That's where ANSMET comes in. ANSMET is an abbreviation for Antarctic Search for Meteorites, and teams can basically go and just pick up the meteorites as they eventually make their way to the surface due to wind erosion. They become concentrated in certain areas due to them all being trapped within the flowing ice, which makes for quite the pickings compared to almost anywhere else in the world. We've seen some pretty crazy stuff about Antarctica so far, and we still have a little more to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, would you ever venture down south to the Antarctic continent? If so, what would you most be interested in checking out? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Ancient Antarctica With all the talk about snow and ice on the continent, we thought we should probably let you know that the continent wasn't always that way. Like all the other continents on Earth, Antarctica moves around due to plate tectonics, and at one point, and probably more than just once, it was lush and tropical and teeming with light. It's not just plate tectonics that has changed things either. The Earth goes through cycles, and at points in our past, 
the Earth was warmer than it is now. It's also been much, much colder as well. Think about all the ice ages. There are buried mountain ranges beneath the ice. Plants used to thrive here, and there were even flowing rivers across the surface of the continent. As we said, other continents have moved too, and have too experienced different climates. If you look back at past supercontinents, yes, there were more than just Pangaea, you'll see that some places that are now tropical were once frozen over and vice versa. And once upon a time, everything was frozen. That was called Snowball Earth. The planet is ever-changing, and Antarctica could one day be covered in palm trees and animals and life. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to do us a favor and leave a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on our logo on this video so that you can always keep up with our incredible uploads. Also, check out this next video we picked out just for you.